Mrs. Miller left the house and put a $100 bill in the dining room for her son. But the son said he never saw the money. There were three other people in the house that morning. Stephen, the gardener, Bill, the cook, and Molly, the housemaid. Steve said he saw the money, but he's an honest man. He'd never take it. Bill said he spent the morning in the kitchen and didn't see the money at all. Molly said she had to open the kitchen window, but didn't want the bill to fly away. So she put it in this book, between pages 35 and 36. Can you tell who's lying? Molly is. She couldn't have put the money between pages 35 and 36. They're two sides of the same page. Josh was walking in a forest at night and came across an old castle. He was curious, so he found a way in and started walking down a corridor. Pretty soon, he met three people. They said they were two werewolves and a vampire. Hmm. They wanted to keep Josh in there forever, but in the end, decided to give him one chance to get away. He had to guess who the vampire was. He was allowed to ask the same question to each of them as long as it wasn't, are you a vampire? Josh asked, what's your eye color? Why did he ask it, and how would that even help him? Vampires don't have a reflection in the mirror and don't show up in photos. The vampire probably wouldn't know what color eyes it had. Jessie is a mom of three who works as a detective. She comes home late one night and goes right into the kitchen to get dinner ready. Waiting for her in there, a huge mess. Looks like someone already had their dinner. A chocolate pasta sandwich. She doesn't let her kids eat that kind of stuff. So she goes upstairs and rounds up all her kids. Katie, Serena, and Hannah are all busy doing their homework. They all deny eating chocolate pasta, but she still knows who it was. Who's lying? And how did Jesse know? Back in the kitchen, the knife's on the right-hand side of the chocolate pasta. That means the person who made the sandwich is left-handed. She has only one left-handed kid, and that's Hannah. You always answer me, even though I never ask you any questions. What am I? A telephone. What word is always pronounced wrong no matter whether it's a baby or a professor saying it? That's the word wrong. There are 100 books on a shelf. To count off 10 of them, you'll need 10 seconds. How much time you'll spend on counting off 70 books? Thirty seconds. You'll need this time to count off 30 books, and the rest will make 70. What table doesn't have legs? The periodic table. I connect two people even though I touch only one of them. What am I? A wedding ring. I have many faces, emotions, and expressions. And I'm usually only a tap away. What am I? An emoji. An empty bus arrived at a bus stop, and 15 people entered. At the next stop, 10 passengers left the bus, and 5 fewer than at the first stop entered. At the third stop, 15 people left the bus. How many people are still inside? Only one person, the driver. I exist until you get to know me. As soon as you learn me, I disappear. What am I?
A secret. We're twins. When I leave, I give birth to my sibling. And when they leave, they give birth to me. What are we? A day and a night. A mother promised her son to pay him $60 per hour if he washed his hands for 6 seconds before eating a meal. But when the son did that, and his mother gave him his well-earned money, the boy got upset. Why? Because he received just 10 cents. I have an eye, but no matter whether it's big or small, I still can't see. What am I? A needle. It exists for millions of years, but it's never older than one month. What is it? It's the moon in the sky. I can be large and I can be small. I can have any shape. But if you have me, you never keep me, even if you like me very much. What am I? A gift. I can cycle many hours and never get tired, even at the end of the day. Why is that? Because I'm a clock. What color is the wind? Blue. Ha! <laughs> Got you with this one, didn't I? Where does tomorrow take place earlier than yesterday? In the dictionary. It's always served, but never eaten. What is it? It's a tennis ball. What type of goose is brave enough to fight with snakes? A mongoose. You've drawn a long line. How can you make it longer without touching it? Draw another shorter line nearby. In this case, the first one will be longer than the second. I have 6 faces and 21 eyes, and still I can't see. What am I? I'm a dice. What will you have if you get 3 blackberries and 4 apples? Too many gadgets for one person. I'm lower with a head on than without it. What am I? I'm a pillow. This question has just one answer, but everyone answers it differently. What question is it? What's your name? What water can you eat and chew? Watermelon. How can you turn 6 into an odd number? Remove the S and it leaves IX. That's number 9 in Roman numerals, and this number is odd.